When we are talking about Canada's security threats, ports and airports aren't the only target for attacks. Critical infrastructure such as hydro plants, nuclear plants and pipelines can be just as, if not more, vulnerable to security breaches. The results could be catastrophic. Retired Colonel Brian McDonald spends his time thinking about points of interest for terrorists and things that could blow up. His predictions have often been dead on. I'm wondering if we're still at risk. Well, certainly the issues that I had indicated are issues that have not been, in my view, fixed at all. I was really looking at the natural gas pipelines that go across the border between Canada and the United States, which supply something in the order of about 100% of the natural gas consumption in the American Northwest and about half or so in California. You would not attack the pipelines, but you attack the compressor stations that you find about 850 kilometers. And I looked at the possibility of taking the Timothy McVeigh fertilizer bomb technology, which of course took down that courthouse in uh, Oklahoma City, and said to myself, if you took a prairie grain truck, a seven-ton truck, and you took a mixture of fertilizer and diesel, which is what McVeigh did, you would then put that into this truck, run it at one of these compressor station buildings, and blow it. And at that point, you effectively turn out the lights on the entirety of the west coast of the United States. I see no particular moves have been made to protect those compressor stations. And so in that sense, we're as vulnerable now as we ever have been.